station My life is so beautiful You know what I say yeah? It's all about bread man And I say this is the original chronic saying You're tuned in to the original bread man Keep it locked Rastafari said so that Ease out Yo you don't know this is a girl bad girl Cecile representing for bread man all who genuine red man we rule them And all who are chats We mute them, them no smoke, them no sick Them no have pink eye but them yeah in red Yeah man, bread man Mmm, we better than everything All stead man <laughs> Welcome back to the vlog, guys. And we have Brown Dog. Happy birthday. Dog. Happy no, birthday. No, 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 no. Okay, we're going to have to cut that part out. Happy birthday when it comes. Who? Your, it's your birthday again? No, your birthday. No, it's not my birthday. I don't have a, I don't have a birthday, ladies and gentlemen. This is our friend, Mr. Appiah. Good How are you, sir? I'm very well. Thank you. <laughs> it's Mr. Appiah's birthday. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm going over the other side. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't say that. Yeah, we in the middle of the night doing stuff that we're supposed to be doing in the day. We were trying to do the brakes on this car, but... The parts department gave us the wrong brake pads. So now I do have the right brake pads. It's nighttime, but I got to make a big trip tomorrow. So... Even though it's late... No, that like perfect. Even though it's late, we're gonna try and get this done. Let me just try and speed this. We're gonna try doing it at nighttime. We got Doug with the miner's light. Sorry, I don't wanna blind you guys, but it's one of them real strong lights. So Doug, you're gonna toot you're gonna give us a tutorial on the brake job. So okay, so first <laughs> Hey so, We're all good neighbors here. Okay, we do so every we talk to everyone. What we're good gonna do, uh, we're gonna um crack the lug nuts on the wheels um, so that when we when we drop the car up we don't have to sit there and try to struggle to pull the lug nuts okay so, so we're gonna crack the lug nuts now but first if you notice like you have a wheel lock over there so it's like we gotta get the keys for the for the wheel lock all right so we're gonna speed this up real quick am i supposed to be seeing there it goes off after a while to oh, save oh, energy. Okay. So all you have to do is just touch the touch screen, the screen. Mm. and then it comes off. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. Well, let's see how it works. Need another one of the mining lights. No, give me the other light. take this one off we have the back wheels uh, chop as I see follow me real quick chop the back wheels make sure we got the back wheels shots for safety all right all right Oh man, 
the gun. 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 We got cardboards over here to put under the wheel. To put. Oh no, you know it's not gonna come off that easy. Now, just like we said before, you know you gotta do this. It's kind of brute. You, you know you but gotta do this. Some brute force. Ah, there yeah, you go. Ah. That's a horse yeah, kick. Yeah. If you're not strong yeah. enough, do that. Your legs are usually strong. Okay, board. now for safety. Or the jack stands? Yeah, we're gonna do the use the jack stands. We want people to be safe when doing this. Don't, so no, don't put your body or anything under the car if there's not something supporting the car. So no, other than the jack. You're gonna go up a little Some bit kind higher. of secondary support. I'm gonna go a little higher so we can get the jack stand. So we put right there, so boom, so we set it right, right up here under the frame. We put right there, so just in case, if the jack fails, the car is not going to fall. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, you get the shot of that. Yep. Yeah. So now, um, so where's the keys? Come on this side. Oh. Keys. If you got the keys for the car, I want to go in there and just turn the steering wheel around. So that. Oh, let's start up here. This is a 14 wrench. 14 and 14, right? Because this is for a 2017 Honda Accord, as I said before. Like I said. That. And then boom. Well the line is I don't want to pull out of the thing, so we're gonna pull the whole thing out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So we don't want to put any strain on the line, so let's just put this one back in. Oh, just to give it a little break. Go ahead now. And now we take it out. Oh, this is just to prevent stretching this line that's why i did that so you're gonna just take it off and just hang it by the side just put it out of the way it's perfectly good right here now these look much lower than the other side if you've seen when we took off the other side the other day that's probably what's giving me the squeaking oh yeah yeah doug come look at this would you look at this oh yeah it's touching Oh my god. Yeah, so you see this here, this is the little sensor to um, remind the the operator of the car saying that the brake pad is low. So you see this little shiny part right here? So, so you can see. So once it starts hitting the rotor, it so this is what's noise. giving you the brake. So this is worn down so much now that what he's saying is this is scraping against the road and that gives you that squeaking sound to tell you that it's almost time to do it to change your brakes. This pad is almost done. There was some meat on all the ones on the other side, but it doesn't make any sense. You change only one side, you change both. So we're gonna, got a new pad. Yep, we got Doug, new you wanna take, <coughs> so I'm gonna give Doug some camera time too. So we're gonna check the floating pins. Okay, so these are moving. Okay, so boom, so we good. They're not frozen, they're moving, so. So we're gonna match up the pads right now. Let's see. Equal match. So the what you call it, the pads with like the sensor basically goes on the back. So we're gonna do this here. I'm gonna put on the front right here. Close in. 
Now you see how that just went in. From the previous one we put in that, the, they gave us the wrong one. It was much, it was very loose. It wouldn't have been effective and it probably was much, been dangerous if I just went along and used those. But we did figure something though. We're supposed to put like a little lube on it, so. So, like Doug was saying, we're trying to do it, we're doing this and we want you to learn from it, so we're gonna do it the correct way. What he's going for now is a lubricant. So it's like you just put like a little lube on like the... What kind of lube is that? Was that lithium grease? Yes. So as you see, lithium grease, you could get that at your local car parts store. Now, what is the purpose of the lithium grease? Um, so that it could um, um, slide back and forth with ease so like it don't stick. So I can put it over here in the pad here, so... simple that is it's put in the new pads and then to compress the calipers now you get like a C clamp from here because with like the new pads it's like it's not gonna fit on because it's like the calipers all the way out so we gotta compress the new one in so this like cylinder right now that you see is protruding this way out it, this much. needs to go back almost flush to the whole housing right here so it, the best way to do it is use it. Take the old pad, pads. since we're gonna throw these away already. You get a C-clamp. So now, um, this is where the, this is where the. It's coming, it's open. You want me? Mm -hmm. oh, good. So while he's doing that now, the pressure is going back into the whole system. We got some. I'm kind of really full with fluid. You can see right here. We got some paper towel trying to. You know, it's not the most neat way of doing it, but we're trying to do something that works. I don't want to really mess mess up the engine. Mm -hmm. So is the cylinder going in, Doug? Yes. So as you see, we come back over here now. He's already got it back in. There was only a little bit of fluid that came out, not even that much. Not much. Tighten it. Tighten it this. Make sure that everything is tight. And then we just pump the brakes up right now. Make sure that everything is working. Okay, so I'm gonna pump the brakes. Yeah. That's how easy brakes is. Yeah, that's a, a two hundred dollar job. If you're doing the road, it's a different job. It's a different thing. Pump it. Pump it. Okay. Boy, you see it moving, right? That's good. Okay, so. You want to try okay, it? Okay, so the pedal feels permanent. Okay, I'm um, so turn the steering wheel more to the left now. Left. Left. Come on, you don't have to stop the cabin. Keep going. Okay, okay, right there. Alright, that's it.
That's it. Yeah. That was a break job. Yeah. That's and it. Like you see, guys, not that hard. We're gonna do repeat the same process on the other side, yeah. that's and that's it. basically how you do a brake job on your car. And how much does that usually cost in a mechanic? Sorry, mechanics, I'm not being against, but <laughs> it's DIY nowadays. That's it. Simple. All right, cut it. That's it. One side. Two hundred dollars to the <laughs> for an hours work. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Check. yeah. There you go. Okay, so now we gotta remove the jacks. So now we gotta go up a little bit more. Hmm? We gotta raise the corner a little bit. Okay. Oh. <laughs> that goes up. Okay. Alright, good to go. Start. Hold on. Hold this right here so it's not. We don't want to splash it. Hold this right here. I got it. Okay, so just hold it right this in the floor. Yeah. Okay. So what are we doing now? Okay, we're just pumping hold. out the excess fluid. Hold the siphon, so arm thing there. So that's all we need. Oh, oh. that's it, that's it. Yeah. Not too much. Yeah, that's okay. it. Okay. Now, let me see that real quick. Mm -hmm. Now this is the pump you could, what's this called? Oh, this is a siphon? Yeah. Where did you buy this? Nah. Well, you find it at your local heart, your auto, auto parts zone. store. Auto zone. Uh, we're not promoting nobody right now. <laughs> auto zone got to cut that check before we do that. All right, so. Damn, right, we so mentioned auto zone. But I'll just beat that out. So we're back over here now. Okay, so now I'll okay, so push it off. Let's see. Like it went all the way yeah. back up. No, this is like a little bit all the floor. And as he's squeezing the... You can see the fluid is coming back up as he's a plug. He's squeezing in. Let's see it. Shine the light there. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, it's all the way flush. Flush now, flush. We didn't show you on the other side. So that's going to give the space to put in. Now we also have a little problem right here. I was able to get the old, the outside old pad off. This side is it's coming off, but it's very tight. It's very tight, as you can see. How you make this brighter? So this thing look like it went dimmer. So now with this being so tight, what we're thinking about now is that maybe we're gonna have to change the shims on this side. See him, so him uh. yeah. Yeah. It's like they got a lot of dirt in it, so I mean, you know, once a little bit up, it could probably still work, but I mean, honestly, we got new trims with like the new pack, so might as well. So, as you saying, usually when you buy your brakes, Normally Some companies give you new shims. Why did it come with measure can man shit? That's how that goes? Yeah. No. no. Hold on, turn that come bring it back. Bring it back. So in they're supposed to be universal. Yeah, you you had it upside down. That's what I'm telling you. It was right. Okay, this side it's supposed to work, so huh? Yeah, that oh mm -hmm. no, turn around. No. Bingo. Bingo. Sir. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Kinda tight right there, sir. Yeah, right. Gotta get over that lip. Make sure that the stay clear. Is that ceramic? 
they called? Yeah, ceramic these are ceramic instrument. ceramic brakes. Yeah, let's good question, Mr. Happy. Let's dust. Uh, the, yeah, the ceramic brakes or what the let's dust. Well, it said premium on the premium brake, so let's dust and it is that they don't damage your road as bad as the the semi metallic. But the semi metallic is way better brakes though because those have better stopping distance. Though. Okay. So it's like now those like. Hey, this is Grand Mario. We get in the school, hey. let's. <laughs> Ooh, it's kind of tight. Tight with the new clips? Yeah. That means they're gonna be uh, hard to move then. Yeah. I like that. Yes, I the clips came with the clips look like they were wrong. Yeah, like the somebody clips. switched the clips in yeah, the bag. Yeah, the clips came with these though, so that's what they kind of <laughs> We're not too sure about these new clips. Yeah, he's kind of old, yeah. And it doesn't seem like they're gonna be too practical and it seems like just the friction of the new of the pads. So the pads, like you see, he put grease right here. So the pads are supposed to be able to slide towards the rotor. The rotor yeah. So the way it was, it was so tight in here, it looked like the pads are going to have difficulty like sliding and that's going to give you like an uneven wear on your rotor, which is not really good. So we're going to go back with the old clips. Doug is going to do his little fan dangling or whatever, MacGyver. Are oh, you going to clean them up? You got a wire brush or something? Yeah. Google owns YouTube now. Yeah. So if you never signed in before, it's your Google account. So, so it went in much easier now. So we're gonna work with the old stuff. And it's an old broom, no the corner. Corner, corner. Yeah, yo. So we're gonna have to work with that old broom now. So wait a what? Why the hell did they, like the, the what you call it, they shouldn't them come with like the little Toyota set. So there's so much brakes Honda coming because I know Honda is like just one type of brake. I don't understand that. I don't know, but maybe it was a mistake, but it seemed like those weren't working. He got me thinking. Now mind you guys, this is not OEM. So we can't really complain too much. But these are good ceramic brakes paired with the old trims. We should be good to go. We got you greased up and everything, lubricated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The brake job is almost practically done. Yeah. That's why I need you to sign in. Oh shit. Hey, you hear that though? Hmm? You hear that? Sound like some street racing going on or something. Alright, so you wanna go step on the brakes now? Alright. Um the float is gonna go down now. Once I start stepping on it, you see that? Boom, yeah. boom, boom. See that? No, boom. Yeah. So now that's like a nice Do you have to add back the float the fuel no. the fluid that you took up? No, that's good. Like you did the rear brakes, so it's like the fluid was low. Yeah, you're good man, you're good. Yeah, you're good. So you want to like he add before though, like when, like he did like the rear brakes. Mm -hmm. So like he add. So technically it's supposed to be like up to here now, but like with him adding, like he bring it up all the way up. So that's why I had to cycle out that much. So with everything being there right now, it's supposed to be up here like to the max right now. Okay. 
But that's a good that's a good level. Yes. So it's like when the bricks when the bricks start getting lower, then you look at the level here. Once it starts getting down here, that's when you know like actually uh, okay, the pass is getting lower. You understand? Thank you, Mr. Appiah. You're welcome. Of course you know we thank Brown Dog. Right now, she's looking a little dirty. We're gonna throw the wheel back on. And I'm gonna take her for a wash. This is Mr. Leon doing a brake test. Leon the bread man. Bread. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You stop on the guy. So you left it under the hood? <coughs> no, you're happy. Now you left it there, but the seat there, and said I was going to move it. But I just a while ago, Mr. The Lock. Remember, sir, you took out the lock and everything, but you put it back underneath the hood, like on the, the right side. All right, let me, ch let me check right now. Yeah. <coughs> Hold up. Hold up, hold up. You got the lock, yeah, it's good. Huh? I know you got the lock, but I don't even see it. I wonder if it fell out. Yeah, I'm I'm here now. I don't just, That shit must have fell off, bro. You see on the driver's side, right? Yeah, Doug, you said it's on the driver's side, right? By the shock housing? Yeah. I don't see it. Hey, super. Have a wash? Yeah. All right, guys, I'm here getting the car wash. Like, uh, I'm gonna end it right here. I always ask you guys to please hit me with a like, share, subscribe if you like the content, and hit that notification bell. That's the only way you're gonna get to know about. Bread man, make myself your life, is that a dead man?